Welcome guys, today uh, I'm back with a little bit of levity, a little bit of comedy. Today we're back with George Costanza's greatest hits, Seinfeld. I'm pretty sure everybody has heard of Seinfeld by now, but everybody has heard of it. If you haven't, this is it. Uh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Uh, I've watched Seinfeld. I, I, I don't want to say it the whole thing. Uh, I think uh, until season 5 or 6. But I want to finish the day today with laughter. So that's why I uh, I decided to pick this up. Anyways guys, I hope you like my reaction. Let's go in. This is gonna be fun. Who are you, George Costanza? I'm the opposite of every guy you've ever met. It's not you. It's me. <laughs> You're giving me the it's not you, it's me routine? I invented it's not you, it's me. Nobody tells me it's them, not me. If it's anybody, it's me. All right. George, it's you. You're damn right it's me. Look, I was just trying to get... I know what you were trying to do. Nobody does it better than me. Shut your trap and stop kicking the seats! We're trying to watch the movie! Dude, and Jason Alexander you again, killed the role. And I'm gonna show you what it's like. You understand me? Killed him. Now shut your mouths, or I'll shut them for you. And if you think I'm kidding, just try me. Try me. Because I would love it. <laughs> you telling me that wine is better than Pepsi? <laughs> no way, wine is better than Pepsi. Oh my God. Oh, hey, 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 that's, oh, that's very nice. You know, we've been waiting 20 minutes for you people. What do you think, you're Mussolini? Back off, puffball, it's not my car. What do you think, you're Mussolini? What the... I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> you know, we're living in a society... Oh, my God, the society bit. Oh, yeah. We're supposed to act in a civilized way. I tell you, if I was running for office, I would ask for the death penalty for double parkers. If this is allowed to go on, this is not a society. This is anarchy! She called. He yelled, Cartwright. <laughs> I missed her. Who's Cartwright? I'm Cartwright. <laughs> You're not Cartwright. Of course I'm not Cartwright! I mean, would it kill you not to be so funny all the time? That's all I'm asking. This woman thinks I'm very funny, and now you're gonna be funny, so what am I gonna be? I'm gonna be a short, bald guy with glasses who suddenly doesn't seem so funny. I'm not treating you to lunch anymore! <laughs> you had to tell Julie that I made a special point of telling you that I bought you the big salad, didn't you? Uh, uh, uh. You know, <laughs> if it was a regular salad, I wouldn't have said anything. <laughs> But you had to have that big <laughs> George, is this funny? <laughs> it's funny. Why couldn't you make me an architect? You oh, know yeah, I always wanted to good. pretend that I was an was architect. A marine biologist? I'm, uh, I'm an architect. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, what do you design? Uh, railroads. <laughs> I thought engineers do that. They can. It's not a lie, if you believe it. What do you do? I'm an architect. Have you designed any buildings in New York? Have you seen the uh, new addition to the Guggenheim? You did that? Yep, yep. It didn't take very long, either. I'm, uh, I'm also an architect. Oh, my God. Elaine, bald men with no jobs and no money who live with their parents... <laughs> Don't approach strange women. I tell you something. Good point. I wish there were pigmen. You got a few of these pigmen walking around. Suddenly, I'm looking a lot better. <laughs> that way, if someone wanted to fix me up, they could say, "Hey, at least he's no pigman." Of course. I, mean... I know less about women than anyone in the world. I don't like when a woman says, "Make love to me." It's, it's intimidating. The last time a woman said that to me, I wound up apologizing to her. <laughs> Really? That's a lot of pressure. Make love to me. What am I in the circus? I've never in my life have, have I what what was that? You mean in the end? Oh. A counterclockwise swirl. <laughs> What's that? What? On your hand. Nothing. I don't know. The hand, the blood, the little dirt. I want to see what's on your hand. Your hand. Number one. Take her leg. Oh my god. Rib notes? You've got crib notes? It's a very complicated move. 
To be honest, that would be a funny story to have. If you're in bed with a girl and you have notes on your that would be funny. You know, I don't think she'd be mad. It would be fucking hilarious. I've never seen this. I think I could do it. You know, they always remember the first time. I don't want to be remembered. I want to be forgotten. Every time I go to the bathroom, I pass her desk. I have to plan little patter. I spend half my day writing. Then afterwards, I sit in my office and analyze how it went. If it was a good conversation, I don't go to the bathroom for the rest of the day. Would you like to come upstairs for some coffee? Oh, no, thanks. I can't drink coffee late at night. It keeps me up. <laughs> What did you say? I don't know what the hell I said. I gave her an ultimatum, and there's nothing I can do. It's a machine. The little light is blinking right now. Come and listen to the idiot. Hey, everybody, <laughs> the idiots are here. George, uh, Jason Alexander, the actor, killed this role. Killed it. I mean, he's the funniest in the whole cast. Let's all be honest, OK? It's him number one, Elaine Kramer Jerry. Yeah. Okay, listen, Jerry Kramer, they're funny, but come on, man, Jason, uh, George killed it. Kill, he's the funniest. The funniest, I mean. I love you. Oh, my you know, God. I'm hungry. Let's get something to eat. You can't have a relationship where one person says, I love you, and the other one says, I'm hungry. Let's get something to eat. I've tried right, to move into lesbianism before, but never to a mental <laughs> He stole your girlfriend? Yes. She's in love with him. Amazing. I drive them to lesbianism, he brings them back. I really think we need to talk. Uh-oh. She tried to end it with me, Jerry. What'd you do? I told her I was out of soda, I went out to get some, and I never went back. Nice. <laughs> it's amazing. If I reach out and touch her breast right now, she'd scream and throw me out of the car. But at this time tomorrow, I could touch it all I want. I'm really sorry. The pool? The pool? I was in the pool! Yeah. I was in the pool! <laughs> I think that you think that a certain something is not all that it could be, when in fact, it is all that it should be and more. I'm sure it is. Look, you don't understand. There was shrinkage. Every time we go out to eat, the minute we're done eating, she's running for the bathroom. So you're concerned? Elaine, of course I'm concerned. I'm paying for those meals. <laughs> what are you doing in here, George? I was just wondering what it was you wanted for dessert. <laughs> It's come to my attention that. that you and the cleaning woman have engaged oh in sexual intercourse on the desk in your office. Is that correct? Was that wrong? Should I not have done that? I tell you, I gotta plead ignorance on this thing because if anyone had said anything to me at all when I first started here that that sort of thing was frowned upon... <laughs> You know, because I've worked in a lot of offices, and <laughs> I tell you, people do that all the time. <laughs> how so? Oh, my God, the toupee. I'll tell you how so. She's bald. What do you mean, bald? What do you think I mean, bald? Bald. Bald, bald. <laughs> She's bald. She's bald, Jerry. I'm out, baby. I'm out. Why do you fire her? Because I kissed her in the meeting. Russell found out he fired her over the phone. Finally, my stupidity pays off. You fixed me up with a the bald woman. The me. I got rejected by a bald woman. I'm stuck. Every time I think I'm out, they, they pull, pull me, me back, back in. Do you want to have sex right now? Do you want to have sex with me right now? Let's go. My mother caught me. Caught you? Doing what? You know. I was alone. You think you're so damn special because you say, God bless you? Oh, I, I, I don't think I'm special. Uh -oh. <laughs> My mother always said I'm not special. 
for I am Costanza, Lord of the Idiots. Do you ever just get down on your knees and thank God that you know me and have access to my dementia? Look at these salesmen. The only thing these guys fear is the walkout. No matter what they say, you say, I'll walk out of here right now. Can I help you with something? Hold it! One more step and we're walking! You're not gonna do it! I You're not gonna do it! <laughs> I can't! I'm not an orgy guy! Are you what? crazy? <laughs> this is like discovering plutonium by accident! George is getting upset! <laughs> Worlds are colliding! George is oh. getting upset! Anything oh. goes! It's Thunderdome! Serenity now! You're killing independent George! No, no, oh no, my God. no, George, no, no. The third it person? was not trash. I told me. you the Drake was bad. I hate the Drake! And then she starts talking about her panties. I'm gonna need some water here. Well, I can't walk anywhere now. I'm just gonna be wishing there were walkways. Twix is the only candy bar with the cookie crunch. Twix is the only candy with the cookie crunch. <laughs> Excuse me, I've got a maniac stalking me. I'm not staying in the city. I gotta get out of this city. 51 people died. 51 people? Mm -hmm. That's it? <laughs> I thought it was like a thousand. Well, 1,660 survivors. That's no tragedy. <laughs> How many people do you lose on a normal cruise? 30, 40? <laughs> You ask me here to have lunch, tell me you slept with Elaine, oh my God, and then yes. say you're not in the mood for details. I now this. you listen to me. <laughs> I want details, and I want them right now. I don't have a job. I have no place to go. You're not in the mood. Well, you get in the mood. Amen, brother. I was in there for two minutes. He didn't do anything. Touch this, feel that, 75 bucks. <laughs> well, it's a first visit. I'm only paying half. You can't do that. Why not? <laughs> He's a doctor. You gotta pay what he says. Oh, I'm only paying half. I pay what I say. It's not, it's not fair. I was raised to say, God bless you. Ah, oh, shut up. Believe it or not, George isn't at home. Please leave a message at the beep. I must be out or I'd pick up the phone. Where could I be? <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm not home. He has to have two spaces. I need to make I one of those messages one day. I mean, I'd just... like to spit on it. It's colors. I would like to see that. Should I, should I do it? Teach him a lesson he'll never forget. Okay. This is some machine. <laughs> Leave it to the Germans. <laughs> Let me ask you something. How do they get for tune-up on this? I proclaim this the summer of George! What's... What was that? There's a mental hospital right near here. <laughs> but I'm disturbed! I'm depressed! I'm inadequate! I got it all! Laughing and lying! It's killing independent George! It's killing it! It's colliding! I mean, come on, guys. Come on, Jason Alexander killed this role. Killed it! That's funny, so funny. That's so funny, but there's so many funny bits that George did. So many of them. I mean, whenever I think of a funny Seinfeld episode, it's either George, Elaine, or Kramer. I'm sorry, Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah, but killed it, killed it every single time. Anyways, guys, uh, and the writers, Larry David, and you know who, who wrote uh, George killed, dude. Amazing, uh, amazing writing. Um, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy this. Leave a like if you want me to do more. You know, leave a like, subscribe, and all that. And I'll see you guys next time. See you guys.